Oh, hi there, guys. So, let's talk serious here. Let's talk business. Let's talk about iOS 5. So, iOS 5, you know, I, I don't want to freak you out. There isn't, you know, any new rumors about iOS 5, but we have a wish list from Techno Buffalo, and there are five different things here on this wish list that I think is pretty sweet, actually. So, I thought you could, you know, talk a little bit about this because there are some things that are really good here that I really you know agree with and I thought I just could tell you a little bit about my own opinions about these things okay so the first thing is improved lock screen so the current lock screen in iPhone, iPod, iPad it's kind of useless right now because if you lock your device and you can only see the time, you can see the date, you can see the clock, you can see how much battery you have, but you know, you have your wallpaper and you have this unlock thingy, so it kind of sucks. So what I want to see is a widget feature, and with this widget feature, what I mean with this is that why don't they, uh, you know, allow developers to have their own kinds of small apps with you know kind of live information that will appear so you can have your you can see how many calls you have missed you can see how many calls you have you can see your email messages you can see new messages you can see all of these you know kind of good things that you can see on every single new android phone so here we can see we have the weather thingy we can see you know new apps and you know so why don't they allow that I mean the lock screen right now it sucks you only have a wallpaper and you can see the time and the date I mean it's 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 kind of useless then we have a very big big one here and that's the second one and that is wireless synchronization with iTunes yes finally no I'm not sure if they're going to add this but I think it's a very important thing that they need to add I mean it's a kind of like a mess right now that you need a USB cable to you know plug it in plug it into your computer and then you know you synchronize I mean come on that that is so 2007 yeah it's 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 really old and I hate it because why can't we do it wireless I mean it's 2011 guys 2011 why do we need a cable to synchronize when we have something called internet that is you know wireless and all that good thing so I really hope they add that because right now I don't use iTunes for music just because I can't use a wireless synchronization so I use Spotify for music and with Spotify I could wireless synchronize my music you know to live up this and all that good thing so I really hope that they add that in the next iTunes and I may get back to them I may get back to iTunes then we have a very big one here as well or maybe not that big but it is about multitasking so it wasn't that long ago I think it was in iOS 4 that Apple added you know support for multitasking so you would you wouldn't you, know, you didn't need to jailbreak to get this multitasking feature but the multitasking feature right now it's actually not you know a fully utilize a fully background multitasking the multitasking that you use right now it's kind of like more you know you have you can switch between apps but every time if, if you're working in an app and then you switch to another app the app that you were doing something in it stops to work you know it freezes in that current state and then when you go back to that app again it will you know start to work again so it's actually not a real you know a real fully background multitasking application so it would be kind of sweet if they would add a support for that in the next iOS 5 I think it could be kind of sweet because we have these new kinds of Apple A5 processors so that's probably going to be kind of sweet the next one is trials and subscriptions so I was talking about this in the new iOS 4.3 that we had rumors about this new subscription service so apps you know especially news magazines that will release an app they will like it because people will be able to subscribe to that app so you'll be able to you know subscribe to an app you know you pay every month by going to the app and then you know you pay for the next month the next month the next month this is very good because you don't have to download a new version of the app 
So the, the guys that have this app, they you know only update the app with the information, and then all of the subscribers they just pay every month for you know access to new content. And this could also be a very good thing for all of the game developers out there because right now, like every big game on in the App Store have two versions. One is the version that costs money and have all of these good features. And then they have one with the same name, but it's, you know, they've added this little free at the end. So you have two apps, but it's one game. So why don't you do this, do it like this? So you have one app, one game, you first either buy the app or you download this trial, or, you know, when you download this trial, you can buy it. So you don't have to download a new app. So you only need one app, one game. Now, we, like Angry Birds, there are like three apps out. Angry Birds, they should have that only one app. Yeah, I'm no, I'm rambling. Then we have the next one, number five, a redesigned user interface. Now this is a big one, and I don't think Apple is going to change their user interface because the the thing is that the user face. I'm I'm not going to lie. The user face, it's very simple. Apple like to keep it simple. I mean, right now, if you're on the home screen, I mean, you only have a bunch of apps. Apps, you only have these kinds of icons. You don't have any widgets that many people would love to see. And I don't think, I don't think we're going to see a new user interface, a new iOS 5. Uh, I think Apple is going to continue to keep it simple. And many people like this simple interface. You only have these kinds of icons. You don't have any, you know, you know, a small apps, widgets, or something like that. You don't have it. You have the apps, you have the time, you have how much battery you got, and you have the name, if you got an iPod, it will say iPod, and then you have, like, if you have a wireless connection, yeah, you will see that. And then I could also say one thing that I would love to see in the next version is iOS 5, is that they would improve their notification system. Their notification system right now, it, it sucks really bad. And there, there, there are two things that I hate. The first one is when your battery goes under 20%, then it will, you know, display this pop-up in the middle of whatever you're doing. It will display, oh, you have only 20% of battery left to go charge, blah, blah, blah. And that is annoying because you can't, you can't disable that thingy. And if you have, like, if you had a Facebook app, then, or if you have a, any email app or something like that, it will also display the same notification right in the middle of whatever you do, and that notification, it's right in the middle of your screen. Why can't they do it, you know, more simple, like, in the corner or something like that? And why can't you, you know, customize it more, like, disable it if you don't like it? So, yeah, guys, that is basically my points. I know I'm rambling a lot of, you know, a lot. So, what do you think? See ya.